What's going on boys? My name is Sid and welcome back to another video on Dominion Frozen, the latest update in the Crew 2 Ubisoft Ivory Tower. And there's some big stuff today because, because almost like basically the day the events came out and all of the sweats began testing the new events, some big, big stuff was uncovered and I'm going to be exposing the secrets today. Now, I did plan to make a video on, uh, you know, make a video on the, the, the best methods to, to, you know, to break the ice events in the cr I ended the goddamn stream by mistake. <laughs> My bad, chat. <laughs> Fuck, let's take that again. <clears throat> like I was saying. Well, what was I saying? Now, I did want to make a video where I wanted to, uh, you know, give some me chat i'm sliding out everywhere to oh my lord chat it was right after i told a shit joke it was karma it was karma it was it was karma it was unironically karma <laughs> screw it i'll leave it in we're gonna be breaking the ice events today and uh and, and seeing the the cheeky little exploits that we have to to demolish the times because you may know recently i finished the streamer contest where i came second only a second behind first, maxing out the events with the Glacier Edition Selene. But the Glacier Edition Selene is nowhere near the best for these events. And I wanted to get the Rally Cross event out of the way because I'm I'm not sure, right? I, I, unless I can be updated on it, there's no exploit of any kind that breaks the Rally Cross event. I mean, hey, you know what? I can I can look it up in real time. You know. There is a car that's like one of the exploitable cars, but it's not exactly like one of the exploitable cars, you know? No. For the rally cross, you just use the Cadillac Enforcer because that's the that's the one with the highest. You know, that that is the one with the actual best handling in rally cross. But that's not what we want. But in the street events, it's not exactly the same situation. I'm trying the, the Viper at the moment. I'm trying the Viper and it's shocking. It's, what was I doing this in before? The RX3? We're ahead of the RX3. But I'm gonna try and set a time. I'm not saying this thing is meta. I'm gonna try and set a time in the Viper to see what there is to beat. Hey, why is the effect? Thank you for subscribing T1 on Twitch. No way. I appreciate you a lot, man. A lot of love. Thank you for the T1 on Twitch. And as we get that T1 on Twitch, we're getting closer to the end at like a two minute, oh, whatever it's end up gonna end up being. But there's an issue here. And the main issue is that every single turn you slide, believe it or not, snow and completely iced, like uh, to be fair, chat, they made these roads pretty well. There's reflections on the roads, they look slidey, they feel very nice. The, the, the actual game design, uh, the idea of doing this, that's a different story. But the actual game design, the snow was pretty good. See, the real strategy with these events isn't to use a good car of any kind, isn't to use a car that's wider, a certain vanity, a certain brand, a certain spec, a certain pro settings, a certain anything. Because the real and only meta strategy... Thank you so much for becoming a popular member, Sinner. A lot of love, man. Thank you so much for becoming a popular member. The biggest strategy is, well, finding a car with the demolition derby style see back in the chase update when the crew 2 added a police themed update with that they needed something for the police cars to destroy see when the crew 2 had the chase they added these cars and thank you so much for the two well, pounds you man. would nt have saw the message otherwise open mouth smile agreed open mouth smile the crew two added these cars because the other cars needed something to race, something to destroy. So we got street this thing, a Hemi, with a demolition derby damage model. But what seems to have happened, these things are bugged in a way where they do not lose a single bit of grip 
in any of these events. You can play these events in the damage model cars and get a time as if it was an absolutely normal race. You can slipstream, you can pro setting, and you can absolutely demolish these runs with these cars, but a bit of an issue arises. First of all, let's beam here. Best game in the world. <laughs> this is such a massive oversight. Such a massive oversight. So if you want to get top 300, top 1000 in these events, you can break the ice event in street with the Hemi Masked Edition. But that's not it. There is a big issue that comes up. A big, big issue that comes up. One minute 57. 30 seconds off on a mid run. We are 164th. 164th just like that. Whether it's the demo derby tires or whether it's the, the, the just the general like the the roll cage because you can change the color of the roll cage on these. Yeah, we're only 14 seconds behind world record on that. But like I keep saying, there's an issue here because there's only one car. There's only one car that fits the bill for a demolition derby model in hypercar Ugh, and that is from the second episode of the chase titled the hunt the free motor pass car the motor pass exclusive car that is no longer obtainable that i've made into a shoddy looking batmobile this thing is the only way to really get the best times on the hypercar events because when you drive this thing on the hypercar events, you lose no traction. You lose no grip. I'm not using a nitro chem set. So like I was saying, as you can see, you don't lose a single bit of goddamn slipstream. You don't lose a single bit of grip. You don't lose a single bit of traction. With the KS Mass Leader, you can get this entire run done with full grip full traction not sliding once i was trying these events with grippy cars i was playing with the corvette convertible because that was one of the higher grip cars maxing it out i was first in the test for these events like just before the game went live or whatever but now we have the game live and we have the the ks mass leader or the batmobile you can beam these events now the thing is I want you to get the Hemi, play the street event. I want that street event's leaderboards to be annihilated with Hemi runs exploiting this grip bug, right? Head over and use the grip bug for the Hemi. God, this thing is so fast compared to the other thing. Playing the creator contest for so long and then using just full grip on this event. Ah. Oh. <laughs> but the thing is, only a certain amount of people are going to be able to exploit this event here. And that's only the people who got this car. And you can't really say pay to win. It's just sort of, you missed out. It's like not getting a Battle Pass Fortnite skin. You just missed out, really. This thing was completely free. It was, it was completely free during the hunt. If you played at that time, you could have gotten it. If it was a car that was Motor Pass exclusive, maybe. But really, it's just exclusive exclusive. It's no different to a Summit car. And here's my thinking, right? I don't think this is going to get... I don't think this is going to get patched. I don't think this is going to get patched until Season 7. The crew do have a habit of this. You used to be able to get 0. 0333 seconds in chase events didn't get patched till the agency you used to hit an enemy in chase events and not get any damage didn't get patched till the agency the next update along you used to be able to jump over people and exploit in the agency events didn't get patched till usb tour the next update along so you have 
genuinely, I would be so surprised. Maybe this video will speed the process up. I don't know. I'm sorry, Ivory Tower, if I made you hurry it up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's a funny exploit. It's easy views. It's a funny exploit. I'm sorry, Ivory Tower. I'm sorry. It's funny exploit. Haha. <laughs> Breaking ice. Funny. Haha. <laughs> okay. It's a funny. Haha. <laughs> exploit. Ivory Tower. I'm sorry. But if my video is what makes them now speed up the process, I would be surprised. Because I do not expect this bug to be fixed until next update. Thank you to popular members, especially thank you to famous members, and an insane, insane thank you to icon members, Dustin for the love of life, 